Welcome to Sports Talk Radio. I'm your host, Cooper Enza, along with Zach Renz and Kobe Bien. Today we will be talking about if the 76ers are championship contenders. I mean, after maintaining Paul George, they are. But it really maintain, It really comes down to, are the Sixers healthy? Because Paul George, Joel Embiid, I mean, they're, they've been on and off the past few years by playing a lot. So they can be if they all stay healthy. But... If they get injured, then that's going to cost them champ- a championship, basically. I think we're in a situation where it's rare in the NBA. We have this many teams that would consider themselves contending. We have 10 or so teams that you could make an argument for to win a, a, win a ring this year. The Sixers, however, in my opinion, are at the bottom of that list, especially in a tough Eastern Conference. I believe they are the fourth best team in the East, unless they make some major other major moves before or injuries affect other teams to help them out. I don't think they have a shot in the East. I slightly disagree with you. They've Joel Embiid, probably the best center in the NBA currently, maybe besides Jokic. And they just got knocked out by the Knicks in Game Seven, which was a close game. But then again, that was a Nick. That was Knicks. Seven. Was it? Was it, was it was game five. Oh, Game Five when the Knicks so were injured. Six. Well, the Knicks were injured, so I think they could be, but probably not. I think they have a shot at getting to the championship, but de- probably not winning it because they'll have to get past the Celtics. Wait, breaking news. Nikola Jokic has, an- has announced his retirement to focus on horse racing. Oh, my God. So, um, well, that, that's something. I mean, Nikola Jokic, best center in the NBA. Now, Joel Embiid. Do the Sixers rise as contenders now Nicole Jokic is out? I mean, you got the best center in the NBA who can, who's probably right now better than Giannis. Sorry. Um, and he has Tyrese Maxey and Paul George, two players who can completely change this team, but they have to stay healthy. Yeah. I think it's honestly great for the sport. Like now we have a lot of Serbians potentially turning on horse racing. The Kentucky Derby going to grow massively as a venue. It's great for the sport of horse racing to expand to the rest of the world. This is one of the best pieces of news we could get. Yeah, well, for, for Nuggets fan, they're, fans, they're probably not too happy because they might not have a shot at winning because they were one of the most likely teams people thought to win the most recent championship, but I don't think anymore. Yeah, I mean, no Nikola Jokic. I mean, one of the greats to ever play this game. Just think about how impulsively Eastern Europeans are going to bet on this sport. I mean, the revenue that horse racing is going to obtain in these next couple of years will be substantially growing. All right, guys, that's Sports Talk Radio. I'm your host, Coop Renza, with Kobe, Vienna, and Zach Renza. Thank you guys for joining.